Good morning muli, Ms. Raison Chaser. At ipaabot natin ang mensahe ni Secretary Renato Solidum at pakikita yan sa Viber yung kanyang paliwanag kung bakit hindi nga ito nakarating sa 2022 Calabarzon Regional Science Happy and morning, Ms. Raison. At na, naging matagumpay ito last October 17, 19 hanggang 19, 2022 sa agham at teknolohiya, kabalikat sa maunlad at matatag na kinabukasan at uh, nakahighlight sa DOST Stakeholders Forum and Caravana para sa lakbay teknolohiya para kay Juan at Juana. Alright, so pakinggan natin ang uh, special message ni Rina, si Secretary Renato Solidum. We started out on the turnover of fiberglass rescue boats, a project addressing the necessity for reliable and fast rescue boats in our far flung communities in Venice and Kesa. As the rise of the COVID 19 pandemic, aggravated the country's poverty and unemployment rate. He was the governor of the Buddha State Polytechnic University, implemented the project on the Global Mushroom House, enabling food security poverty alleviation, and environmental conservation and sustainability. The deployable mushroom house is a 3.6-meter by 8.4-meter collapsible structure installed with an automated sprinkler system, humidifier, artificial light, and insulation, an appropriate facility for mushroom tending accessible to our farms. I would like to commend the Ostila Barazon and the Luna State Polytechnic University for this mission. Back in 2019, the rise of the issue of lamano obfuscation due to high levels of methanol steered national concern to fear for our lamano patrons. This consequently more crisis and a significant decline in the livelihood of abilities of local distillers, not just here in Calabarzon, but all over the world. I am delighted that we are very close to the development of accurate, easy to use, and expensive methanol production field test kits. Later in the afternoon, the optimized methanol production will be demonstrated by Lambano producers who showcase its current developments. This innovation is made possible with BOSD Calabarzon in collaboration with the State University. This collaboration was enabled to launch of the upgraded greenhouse nursery. We share a common aspiration with Cavite State University, who was recognized as the embryo culture of Monon, ECM provider in the region and other areas of the country, in collaboration with other agencies like the Philippine Commonwealth Authority, through the establishment of a facility for efficient culturing and care of Monon citizens production of affordable autonomous seedlings and large-scale distribution laboratories and establishing interests with other ECM using laboratories and disseminate information as to proper growth and care of autonomous seedlings. Currently, various facilities and equipment were already installed in the greenhouse nursery and ECM plants are currently grown and utilized. The OST Calabarzon also prepared an orientation on Smart City which will feature some Calabarzon City's road map to which other local government units might match smart map. Cities are complex urban systems that are constantly faced with emerging issues due to changing and challenging times. This Smart City project is a step toward the future by going smart from science, technology, and innovations and their interventions LGUs will improve their public service delivery, processes, and monitoring. It is imperative that we adopt these changing plans and build resilient and sustainable communities. Inside the DOC SHFC, featuring a technology exhibit, technology teaching activity, and stakeholders forum, empowers our technology generators and encourages more innovations in the SCR. South Luzon cluster that includes Calabarzon, Limaropa, and the Nino region. These activities initiated by DOC Capi 
assist our innovators in reaching other businesses and investors. This will broaden the reach and enrich our capacities for income generation. It is significant that we keep constant collaboration with IPO field. I would say that the orientation of IP protection and management organized for our MSEs is highly beneficial for them. Intellectual properties need to be protected so that SEI operation becomes more cheap. Also featured in the DOC SHFC is the linking innovation networks for competitiveness in Calabozo or the Lake Calabozo, initiated by the Baghdad State University. Lake Calabozo is the brand of regional inclusive innovation center or RRIC. This interagency collaboration has been recognized by the Regional Development Council and has been adopted into the region's development agenda. The second day of the DOSDR's W celebration champions our provincial science and technology offices or PSDO. The whole of DOSD was very much delighted as the agent Congress of the Philippines passed to public up 11914 the law converting the DOSD provincial science and technology centers into provincial science and technology offices or PSDOs. With this, the PSDOs are directly mandated to identify the needs and opportunities for science, technology, and innovation in the provinces and implement DOSD programs in rural areas. I am pleased that our PSDOs have taken part in celebrating the National Science and Technology Week in the provinces as well. We have the Tech Ops of Food Processing Technologies from PSDO Kapiket, the milestone celebration of DOSD Calabasas' first province to reach their 100 set of project of both the trading, packaging, and labeling for PSDO Lapuna, the inauguration of the modular, eco friendly domestic wastewater treatment system or metal in the Wheeling Batangas of BSDO Batangas, the launching of one small hub that will be at the goal of BSDO Rizal, and the launching of the Smart Food Value Chain Project on BSDO Kesson. Lastly, the array of webinars, tours, contests, and orientations are very interesting and very future forward. I hope that this will contribute making a difference in the lives of people in the Galtarzon region and even expand to other regions as well, just like some of your previously implemented nationwide projects. Again, my congratulations to EOS in Galtarzon for this regional science technology celebrations and to EOS ESCR, EOS in Galtarzon, EOS in Europa, EOS in Region 5, and EOS in Tampa for your EOSD Stakeholders Forum and Caravan. Let us continue connecting and empowering more people, communities and institutions to science, technology, and innovation. We are gradually recovering and paving the path to the new normal and the stay focused on the importance and advantage of SDI in our lives. Our crisis led us to innovate Along science based solutions for the present needs of our country. Let us continue very fruits innovation. Alright, sana pa kami ni ito pagbati at magagandang mensahe ni Secretary Renato Solido. At panuori naman natin ang isang ceremonial ng turnover of fiberglass rescue boats at kasama din dyan yung pag-launching ng upgraded greenhouse nursery at ang launching ng Victoria Boats at Group House at kasama dyan yung mga ribbon tracking at mga exhibition or cluster ay Magtuturo po tayo at makikita natin ang ibang mga clusters na siyang na kailangan natin sa panahon ngayon ang mga inovasyon ito na kasama sa 2022 Calabarzon Regional Science and Technology Tingin din po dito, palita ng pinita at baba.
Congratulations sa DST Calabarzon para sa 2022 Regional Science and Technology League or DST Stakeholders Forum and Caravan. At kasama nga dyan sa Katuhibon si Governor ng Province of Batangas si Hermin Lando Dudo I. Mandanas at Congress Woman Second District of Batangas um, Honorable Jarbel Chinti Petrix Nuestro at ang um, Local Economics and Investment Promotion Officer ng City Government of Batangas si Mr. Eric Anthony A. Santillan at siyempre si President po ng Batangas State University si the Terso Rodrigo at kasama si USD uh, Tapi ng uh, Director Attorney Marion Iber at siyempre yung Director ng USD Calabarzon Director Emilita C. Pagsir so congratulations yan na po ang mga clusters na uh, naganap na RSTW sa Calabarzon ayan na po ang store hub yan po ang ating favorite abangan nyo po yan meron na po yan sa Antipolo Uh, Cafe Lupe Antipolo, ang One Store Hub. At yan po mga produkto na makikita natin na pwede nyo na pong bilhin sa Antipolo. Yan. At sa iba-iba pang sulok ng Pilipinas, basta may One Store Hub yung mga produkto lokal. At uh, kailangan matangkilip natin ito para po ay lumakas yung ating ekonomiya at makatulong din siya sa ating mga interpreneurs at lalo na sa ating mga magsasaka. Ay, gusto-gusto ko yung ano na yun, Coco Jam. At uh, marami na po tayo nakikma ng mga produkto na lokal. Iba pa rin talaga po ang sarili atin dahil lang ayaw yun sa ating panlasa. At syempre sa mga um, tulad yan, yung bag natin, sukat po yan sa atin at naayon din sa hype ng isang Pinoy o mga Pilipina, lalo sa fashion, di ba po? So iba pa rin talaga yung sarili atin. Okay, so ipagpatuloy nyo lamang po at marami tayong... Uh, Patutunan sa uh, naganap na RSTW ng DOST Calabarzon. At alam niyo ba, meron pala tayong National Telehealth Center or tinatawag na RX Box or advancing community health care dahil uh, ang, ang mga ito pala merong 60% na mga Pilipino na namatay na hindi nagpacheck up na sa doktor dahil nga sa lack of medicines and other life-saving technology at syempre yung uh, part of distribution of health workers and geographic isolation at commercialized medicine or expensive and out of reach of the poor Filipino. So yun ang mga naging dahilan. Itong 60% na namatay na hindi nagpa-check up sa doktor. Kaya ang um, mga solusyon, ito yung maximize establish sa uh, benefits of information and communication technology and health. Ay ma-maximize ma ma ito na gamitin yung health technology. Ano to? For the DOST Smarter Philippines. Alright, so isusunod naman natin ang press conference at uh, para sagutin ng uh, mga opisyales na dumalo ng 2022 Calabarzon Regional Science and Technology Week. Samantala, namataan ng inyong lingkod sa social media ang post ng uh, dating kalihim ng Department of Agrarian Reform na si Secretary Bernie Cruz at uh, talagang hindi na mapigilan yung kanyang 28 pesos na per kilo ng bigas. Ngayong December 2022 na po yan nasisimulan para sa mga uh, NCR po muna at uh, yan nga patuloy ang pag uh, sa trabaho ng ating dating kalihim na si Secretary Bernie Cruz. Alright, so sana nga ay maging matagumpay ito at tuloy-tuloy uh, lamang para sa ating mga kababayan na sila'y masuportahan na napakamurang bigas. Kaya patuloy lamang sumubaybay sa ating makabuluhan at makatutuhan ng programa sa Happy Morning Show. 
nag-uulat, Ms. Horizon Chaser, happy morning!